Bye. Hallo. Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to and the Lim. Good morning from my really nice balcony here at my hotel in Tbilisi. Uh, it's a nice, quick morning. Um, so today, we're actually going to do something different. We're going to leave Georgia and we're going to head into Armenia uh, for a night. So we're going to, I think along the way, we're going to see, uh, you know, seven lakes and different sites leading up to the capital of Armenia, which is Yerevan. So I'm going to stay a night in Yerevan super excited uh, don't know much about Armenia I do have a friend um, that was born in Armenia and I just know that she's like super anti-Turkish food uh, can't blame her because of the genocide uh, but yeah so I just want to go to Armenia and see what it's like um, and also it's really interesting because before um, actually yesterday I came back from Azerbaijan so I actually have Azerbaijan stamp on my passport, which apparently uh, could give me some issues here uh, when I enter Armenia, because those two countries are currently at war. Uh, so we'll find out. Wish me luck uh, that um, you know I should be able to get in with no problem. So we'll see. So come go on the limb with me. Be a bit adventurous today uh, as we venture into Armenia. Folks, before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new contents that I upload weekly. Thank you. So a country of 2.8 million people, Armenia is a former Soviet Republic that's located in the mountainous Caucasus region that's between Asia and Europe and is apparently the first civilization to accept Christianity. Yeah. It's a very old country. Uh, it's among, in fact, it's among the few ancient countries that actually has survived for thousands of years. Uh, Armenia was first mentioned as far back as 520 BC. One thing I have to point out about Georgian and even Armenian drivers uh, is the way they overtake cars. Uh, my driver, you know, assured me that he has toned down a lot, but he does overtake cars, you know, quite a bit. In fact, sometimes texting while doing so which is crazy and as you can see another car actually overtook us this time even though the opposite car was coming in really close uh, distance so such is the driving here in the Caucasus region <laughs> So we drove about an hour away from Tbilisi before arriving at the border. Uh, the Georgian immigration uh, was quick and easy and I was actually a bit worried approaching the Armenian border since I had just been to Azerbaijan the day before and I have an Azerbaijan stamp on my passport. Hey guys, I saw so actually at the uh, Armenia immigration. Uh, just really simple questions, but all good. Actually, it was hilarious because um, they asked me if I went to uh, Azerbaijan. I said I did for one night, and I actually I showed them pictures of my, what the, what I took in, Baja, in Baku, and the immigration officer was like, "Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine." So I kind of inundated him with a lot of information. <laughs> Ah, finally in Armenia. So there are quite a few monasteries to visit on our way to Yerevan, the capital. And we started our first one with Aktala Monastery. So the entrance does not look too inviting, but just wait until you walk past the front door. The view is stunning. So situated on a high cliff overlooking the town of Aktala, uh, and surrounded by deep canyons on the three sides. 
Uh, the monastic complex and fortress of Aktala uh, was actually founded as far back as the 10th century. So the architectural gem of this uh, monastic complex uh, is uh, one of the church called San Ekvasasin. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, the unique church actually features a harmonious combination of Armenian, Georgian, Byzantine architecture and uh, artistic elements. So the church is renowned for its frescoes, uh, which are described as one of the best examples of Byzantine art outside of the traditional borders of the Byzantine Empire. Now, most of the murals here uh, feature inscriptions that's in Armenian, Greek, as well as Georgian. Now, the murals depict scenes from Old and New Testaments, uh, images of saints, including Gregory the Illuminator, uh, the dome itself features a large mural of Madonna with baby Jesus, which according to lore, was partly damaged during uh, the Tamerlane's invasion of Armenia. So below Madonna is the scene of communion with Jesus breaking bread with the apostles. Uh, images of the apostles Peter, John and Paul, as well as the evangelists uh, Matthew and Luke have actually survived uh, the invasion. So from the end of the 18th century, Aktala Monastery served the community of Greeks who settled down in Aktala and worked in its gold and silver mines. So some of these Greeks communities still survive in the area. So we continue on with our journey in Armenia by driving through a neighborhood that looks like Chernobyl. <laughs> uh, saw a cute pig. Uh, visited an old cable car station that looks very Soviet era, uh, but has a nice view. Before arriving at Garni Temple. So the Temple of Garni is located in the village of Garni and it was once a pagan temple uh, dedicated to the Armenian sun god. Now built in the middle of the 1st century CE, meaning common era, the Temple of Garni remarkably survived the destruction of pagan temples that followed Armenia's conversion to Christianity in the 4th century CE, which is rather unfortunate, but fortunately this particular temple survived. Uh, it also had suffered countless invasions as well as earthquakes so until its collapse in 1679 CE so finally mother nature uh, you know, got rid of it <laughs> uh, which is also unfortunate but after continuous excavation in the late 19th and 20th century uh, the temple of Garni was reconstructed between 1969 to 1975 so what we are looking here is actually pretty new I have to say so today, it is the only freestanding Greco-Roman structure in Armenia and seen by many as a potent symbol of Armenia's classical past as well as, it, as its uh, deep political or historical ties to the civilizations of Greece and Rome. So it was definitely worth a visit on our way to Yerevan. So guys, look for my next upload uh, where I will take you through uh, more fascinating places that I visited on my way to Yerevan, the capital of Armenia.